Welcome back to Velshi and Rule. President Trump has appointed conservative economist Larry Kudlow to replace Gary Cohn, the outgoing director of the National Economic Council. So let's take a look at who Mr. Kudlow is and where he stands on the issues. Much, much like President Trump himself, Kudlow is probably best known for appearing on television. He is a longtime CNBC contributor who hosted several shows over the years. He also hosts a radio show and writes for the National Review. Kudlow supported Trump during the 2016 election, and he has acted as something of an informal advisor to the then candidate. In terms of policy, Kudlow is a traditional fiscal conservative. He believes in low taxes and less regulation. That probably stems from his time in the Reagan administration, the father of American supply-side economics. Kudlow worked in the Office of Management and Budget during Reagan's first term. Following his time in government, Kudlow returned to the private sector. He worked as a senior managing director at the now defunct Bear Stearns until the mid-90s. Interestingly, as recently as this month, Kudlow vocally disagreed with the president's policies. He co-wrote an op-ed just a few weeks ago criticizing Trump's tariff proposal, calling them a tax hike, although he has since walked some of those comments back, supporting the tariffs as part of a plan to be tough on China. Take a look. If it comes to it, I am going to strongly favor targeted tariffs and tax increases on China until they come to the table sincerely not, and play ball with us. Great. You want to have targeted uh, tariffs right, against China? but that's China? not what we're doing. That's absolutely not what we're doing. Then go after intellectual property. Go after uh, where China spends their right, money, right. artificial intelligence. There's nobody who disagrees that that's actually a thing, right? There are things that China does that are not fair trade practices. They're not the things that Donald Trump um, identified during the campaign. But sure, targeted is the point. You generally, if you're, if you're Larry Kudlow, you see the world as one in which there should be very few trade barriers generally. And when people are doing things that are decidedly unfair, you target them to change that. Larry Kudlow, however, is someone who believes that if the stock market rises, the economy will go with it. And right. if you think about how the Trump voter was born, part of it was post-financial crisis right. when you saw places like New York and San Francisco rise. People who owned assets had extraordinary recoveries, but people in the middle didn't. Donald, when President Obama... Wages didn't go up, even though the stock market has been going up for nine years years. And Larry Kudlow talks openly about, you know, teachers out there, firemen, if you've got a pension, your pension is invested in the market. The market goes up. It's your only shot. It's right. your best shot of collecting that pension. Well, guess what? Many people, hourly wage workers, they don't have pensions. Right. And and Larry Kudlow has never met a tax uh, hike he didn't, tech tax reduction he didn't like, a tax cut. But again, our studies have indicated, from recent studies in, in the United Kingdom to studies more uh, distant in the United States, that there is no direct relationship between cutting corporate tax uh, rates and increasing wages. Despite the fact that President Trump will continue to talk about the bonuses that have been given out since the tax cuts, bonuses are not base wage hikes. And, and again, it's not, it's not as widespread as the president would like it to be thought. And you could say all day long you like the tax cuts, but remember, you, the money has to come from somewhere, and the deficit matters. And what is it doing? But Kudlow says it's not going to go up. It's going to go up, but Kudlow says it's not going to. He's made that argument with the president that the president uses, that economic growth will go up and we will grow ourselves out of the deficit. Well, There's then nothing this to prove will be that the that challenge happens. for Larry Kudlow, because in the position that he's in now, he has to stand there and represent real data. Right, but the fear is he may stand there and represent the president in the face of real data. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.